power slap. Oh, I love it. I love that, it. I love it. I mean, I mean, there are very few times that there are two slaps. <laughs> it's normally just one slap, day. No, no, no. It's it's, it's like 50-50. Yeah, go to decisions or knockouts. Yeah, the, 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 there's there's way more back and forth than, than people realize because all you see on social is the viral side of it. Yeah. But this thing is a beast. It's the most successful thing that I have ever been a part of in my career in such a short amount of time. In 16 months, this thing's only 16 months old. We have more more uh, followers than like the NHL, uh, PGA, uh, uh, NASCAR, and many, many others. And we're about to take over Major League Baseball, too, here pretty soon on all social platforms and billions, billions of views in, in, in just um, 16 months. The EBITDA on this thing is off the charts. The revenue is unbelievable. Um, and we have more sponsors in 16 months than the UFC had in eight years. How do you train for power slap? So what's starting to happen now? This is the same. These are all the same questions people ask me about UFC in the old days. Oh my God, this is garbage. You jump on top of another guy. You can do this. <laughs> you can do that. It's human cockfighting. Now this, because as soon as money gets involved, right, and you can actually start to make a living doing this, right, people start taking it serious and people start. So when when athletes come in to slap, we put them through the Performance Institute and they go through go through the same type of training. We we. Uh, measure them for force, velocity, speed, you know, and people are actually starting to train and take this thing serious because there's real money involved now. I mean, I'm just, I mean. And this, this thing was global overnight. This thing started in Russia right. and Poland. Right. That's where I started to see this stuff coming from. And, uh, you know, we pull massive numbers in places like Southeast Asia, um, India, Brazil. There's already two knockoff leagues in Brazil um, and, you know, you're starting to see these smaller leagues popping Pop up, up all over the world now. So when you first saw it, you was like, so when you first saw Power Slap, what was the first thing that went through Dana White's mind? This is crazy. <laughs> what the hell is this? Exactly. And I was fascinated and I started to watch it and I started to, to dig deeper and take a deeper dive into it. And I was looking at some of these numbers that were coming out of Russia and Poland, 350 million views on, on uh, YouTube and right. stuff like that. And our YouTube channel is massive now. Right. And you want to re realize something. So I started putting this thing on UFC's YouTube. Yeah. Number one, two, three, and four all-time video views are power slap on, on UFC's YouTube. When wow. you think about Conor McGregor, Habib, you think about Brock Lesnar, Ronda Rousey, some of the big stars that we've had and some of the big moments. Yeah. So the second biggest thing on my social media ever now is Max Holloway. Um, knocking out Justin Gage. Yeah, 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 yes. Number one is power when, slap. When he called him in the park. I am a massive him. number one. Right. What about celebrities participating in power slap? It will eventually happen. Hell no. Nah. It'll eventually happen. Who the hell wanted it? Sh Shannon, I'm going to have you pretty soon. I do. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> I don't want no, I don't want to be in no UFC. I don't want to get choked. I don't want to get kicked. At least in boxing, uh, Dana. I ain't got to worry about, but two, <laughs> Two D's right here. <laughs> in UFC, you got to worry about kick, but that slap, man. I know, I know. And they got your hand behind your back, yep. and they already know what's going to happen because they got two people to catch you because they know you about to go down. These guys are so tough, man, <laughs> so tough. And and and, and the, the the balls it takes yeah. to go out there and perform on the world stage and do this when you know it's going to be the biggest thing virally on earth. Nah. Well, I don't, I tell you what, I hate to be the first, I hate the, the, the first athlete because he go, he's going to be the biggest. That's going to be the most biggest viral moment. <laughs> well, Cause when you get this. an athlete that does that, a professional, an ex professional athlete. This thing's been around for 16 months and we have 6 billion views, over 6 billion views. Yeah. Right? Think about that. The first athlete to get there, slapped, he's going to do a billion, billion by himself. In the world? <laughs> 8 billion people in the world. We have 6 billion views in 16 months. Wow. I mean, when you really wrap your head around how big Power Slap is and the numbers that it pulls, it's absolutely fascinating. And I love it because it's another one of those things that people said, uh-uh, this won't work. And you see Amanda Nunes come in, and I watched that fight, and I'm looking at the capabilities that Amanda had versus what Ronda. Well, what happened with Ronda was Ronda was very unique in that she came in 
and put this this thing on 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 the world stage. This thing being women fighting. Women the, fighting. Yeah. She put it on the world stage. Correct. Right? At a level that nobody else could have ever done it. And while she was doing what she was doing, building the sport and the UFC and women, all these other women were training to, to be, be her. You know what I mean? Yes. She had taken so much on her shoulders at the time, it was literally impossible for her to keep growing as as, as a fighter during that period. Right. So now we see UFC fighters becoming movie stars. We see Ronda Rousey. We've mentioned to her, Conor McGregor. He was in his own movie. Ronda's been in several movies. Mm -hmm. uh, are you pleased with, do you like, do you like that your fighters, UFC, that they're becoming so big that they're able to brand out and even grow the UFC even more? Well, you have Connors and Rondas that are very unique. Yes. It's hard to take those two and compare them to all the rest. Right. You look at, we already talked about Connor, but if you look at Ronda, she, came in and blew the UFC up for women, uh, opened the doors for all women to come in. She's written books mm -hmm. that, that have been New York Times bestsellers. She's written, uh, she just wrote a screenplay for her own story. She went into the WWE and became a star. Yeah. Sponsorship deal she's done. There, there's things Rhonda's done that will never be done again. Um, so you're looking at very unique, very, very unique situations. Right. And everybody's not going to, but you know, Dana, you know, everybody comes with the aspirations of being, if they're female, being Ronda Rousey or being Conor McGregor. As you should. Um, and, and what happened with Nunez, another, I love Amanda Nunez. We have an incredible relationship. Is she and, coming back? Huh? Is she coming back? She could come back. <laughs> There's a possibility she could come back. Um, but again, a very unique individual in her own right. Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, very powerful woman that is looked at as the goat now yes. in female fighting. Um, you know, married to another female fighter. So very inspirational and, and, and big in, in, in the gay and lesbian community. Um, you know, now a mother. Uh, you know, uh, she blazed her own trail mm -hmm. in, in UFC. Like everybody's journey is different and not the same, you know, as an athlete and as a human. I read that you were the one that really got rock on the, in, into social media. Yeah. What's, your, what's your relationship with The Rock? I have a great relationship with him. Uh, you know, we probably talk a couple times a month. And yeah, at the time, he wasn't on social media. And I was like, are you nuts? Do you have any idea how big you would be on social media? And da 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 da, da. And I actually, the, the people that ran my social media, I put on his to get him up and started and kind of get him going. And obviously, you know, the guy's a... A trailblazer now right. in, 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 in social media and, and one of the biggest followed humans on earth. Right. And he loves, he loves UFC because he's doing a doc. Isn't he doing a doc on like Mark Kerr? No, he's doing, he's doing a film. Film. Yeah, a, a film based on the smashing machine. Right. Know? Uh, do you have any, do you, I mean, did you have any influence on that? Did you like? I wouldn't say that I influenced it. He, that was all him, mm -hmm. but I've obviously helped Talked. behind the scenes. Too. Right. Yeah. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.